uh, I just want to say this to kind of like throw it in right before we get into the actual video. A uh, huge shout out to all three of my roommates. So shout out to James, Christian, and Allie. What's up, guys? <laughs> and um, yeah, enjoy the video. Hi, it's me, Trevor. I mean, of course, y'all already know that. So, in this video, I will give my personal opinion to every single president of the United States. All 45 of them. Stop it, man. Oh, yeah, I got, uh, I got a cat with me. This is Spot. Say hi to Spot, everybody. <laughs> He's our big boy. So, I'm gonna be talking about what I think is the best thing about each president. And if there's nothing good about that president, I'll say whatever is bad about that president. Will you, like, go lay down somewhere, please? Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if there's no good, then they'll be all bad. But if there's no bad, then it'll be good. But if there's a little bit of both, then there'll be a little bit of both. So, I'll be going them in, you know, in order, every single one, from Washington all the way to Trump. As you all know, Trump's term is ending. Will be a lot quicker than January 20th. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Alright, so most of y'all know that George Washington is my personal favorite president of all time. He's, you know, the father of our country. He established our government. He this great war hero that led our, you know, our country to victory in the revolution. And he could have been king, but he decided to say no. So he's just great on so many levels. No one could ever like top him, like ever. And in a way he is our only six star general. You know how there's like a really big, like good movie that was so good that the sequel right after it was really, really bad. That's pretty much John Adams in a nutshell. Try to live up to the expectations of Washington and just... Wasn't as good as... You know, I was supposed to be. Great president, great leader, a lot of high expectations, and he practically went against everything he stood for by... Uh... Doing the Louisiana Purchase. Yeah. Plus, he's the author of the Declaration, so there's that, too. Really smart man. Horrible leader during the War of 1812. Great visionary. Wrote the Constitution. I mean, he... I mean, he, he's, he's short. He's, like, 5'4". What else do you want? Mainly instituted stability in the country right after the War of 1812. Just so that way we can, like, calm down and build our infrastructure and plus he's a living relic of his time wrote the Monroe Doctrine arguably one of our best Secretary of States we ever had a lot of ambitions as president but couldn't really do anything because of Congress sorry you just you were a horrible president Quincy sorry Institute of the Trail of Tears he loved duels, destroyed the National Bank, and is probably one of the few presidents that is uh, considered the president of the common man. Pretty good for his time period, but uh, probably not in modern day. Horrible president, but you know, the economic depression that he didn't know what to do and clearly no one really did. So yeah, horrible president. Only served as president for 30 days. He died in office, so there's not really much I can say about him. Orbo president, he had his own agenda from his actual party, and everyone assumed he was acting president when William Henry Harrison died. So he kind of took power for himself. Very underrated president, led the country through the Mexican-American War, and really resembles Mel Gibson. Great war hero, 
led the country to victory in the Mexican-American War, only served for a year and a half, died over a pit of cherries. Yeah, horrible president, not much needs to be said, mainly for the Compromise of 1850. Horrible. Northern Democrat that appeased the Southern Democrats. He tried to please instead of lead. So, yeah. Sorry, Pierce. I'm gonna pierce you out of here. Now, if you remember my video from a couple years ago, I have stated that James Buchanan is probably the worst president that our country has ever had, and he actually stands at the bottom of the actual worst president in American history. He pretty much was president right, just right before secession and the Civil War, because he thought that seceding was against the Constitution, but he also thought that doing anything to stop it was also against the Constitution, so he was kind of, you know, where do I go from here? So, sorry Buck, you're down at the bottom. Hate you. Everyone knows him, everyone loves him. He freed the slaves, the great emancipator, and the closest thing we ever had to a dictator. Everyone knows him as the first president that ever got impeached, but he was picked by Lincoln as a running mate to, well, because he was the only Southern Democrat that stayed with the Union during the Civil War, so. Yeah, okay, fair. Yeah, I guess he was an okay president, but he got impeached, so that's that pretty much trumps everything with what I just said. Great war hero, smoked 80 cigars a day, uh, but his policy making was terrible. Sorry, Grant. Even though you're from my home state, I gotta give you the boot. He loves education and decided that everyone should have education no matter what color of skin you are. So, yeah, average. Only served as president for six months, then assassinated. No one hardly knows him, so... Sorry. He's from Ohio, by the way. No one hardly ever knows about him, but just look at how cool his facial hair looks. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Started out pretty good with having a lot of commerce and industry, and just kind of got mediocre from there. Expanded on the American Navy and National Force by spending a lot of money that was gathered up since the Civil War. So, I don't know, average. Same thing I said before about him, but in this, this time it's uh, economic depression. Sorry. This time you drop. Pretty good president. Uh, led the country through the Spanish-American War and uh, got assassinated in Buffalo, New York. Everyone knows him, everyone loves him. He's on Mount Rushmore and greatly portrayed by the late Robin Williams. So yeah, top five. Fattest president ever, got stuck in a White House bathtub, really wanted to be Chief Justice, but ended up with being President of the United States. But his dream will come true. So, eh, average. Got elected into probably one of the worst elections in American history. All of American policy changed from there on out. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot Wilson for getting us in the mess that we should, really shouldn't be. Really popular at the time he was being elected. Got elected. And uh, turns out he was really, really horny and uh, liked gambling and yeah, sorry. Hate to do that to our hometown president, but bottom five, too quiet. Handled the Great Depression really badly, so yeah, bottom three. Everyone knows him, everyone loves him. Served the longest in office of four terms, so yeah, fair. Top five. Average president, but he decided to drop the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki to end the war, so. Eh, half and half. Great general during the during World War II, and really threatened nuclear war with the Soviets. Was it needed? Probably not. But 
top 10. Great visionary, great president, everyone knows about him, but sadly assassinated in Dallas, Texas. Handled Vietnam really badly. <laughs> He's a crook. Literally the only person that became president and vice president but wasn't elected to either office. So, that's a cool title to have. Mainly a peanut farmer. I mean, that's it. When a celebrity can actually run for president and actually become the president. Reagan started it. Gulf War. That's pretty much it. Longest terms of peace and economic growth in our country's history. NAFTA created. The Monica Lewinsky trial, impeachment, and nothing else. Oh yeah, and he can also play saxophone. Invaded a country that lasted a very long time and dragged out for as long as it currently is. Handled Hurricane Katrina very badly and was pretty much on autopilot ever since 9-11. America's first black president said he was going to do a lot but didn't really do anything. Said he was going to drain the swamp and he did. He was put in America first which he did and uh, kind of going his own way in recent days. And there you have it. My opinion on every single president this country has ever had. Um, why did not include uh, Biden? Because he hasn't been sworn in yet. He has until January 20th, which is actually this coming Wednesday. He gets sworn in at noon, so... That is when Trump officially is out of office and when Biden gets into office. So that's why I didn't do Biden. Yes, I know in a way I kind of did show off my some of my political views, which is okay. I mean, kind of, I mean, especially in this day and age with all this stuff with Trump going on and with Biden going on is just a whole big mess right now. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. You guys already know. Because, you know, it's currently going on right now. You know, it's it's everywhere. Just, just look it up. I mean, you know how the internet works. If you want to hear more information that I have done about every single president of this country, I have an entire playlist that I will throw up on screen right here. Or it will be in the description below. So... Thank you all so much, and we'll see you in the next video.